Installation of grounding electrodes, rods, for residential electrical service. Residential electrical service require at least one grounding electrode, ground rod, bonded to the service equipment. One grounding electrode must have no more than 25 ohm to earth, which is not easy to prove. When two ground rods are installed, a resistance proof of 25 ohms or less is not required. To do this job you will need Two listed ground rods copper coated 5 8 inch in diameter. Two 5 8 inch grounding rods clamps listed for direct burial. Six AWG or larger copper wire. Outdoor rated cable clamps. Outdoor rated screws or anchors. Duct seal. Install the first ground rod. Measure the distance to another ground rod to be installed. No less than 6 feet between rods. Install the second ground rod. Drill a hole and insert the wire bonding the electrodes into the building. Attach the bonding wire to the first ground rod.
Continuous length of grounding electrodes conductor. Secure the grounding electrodes wire to the building structure. Use a duct seal to seal off the wire entry. Grounding electrodes wire secured to the building. Wire entry hole sealed. Route the wire to the second ground rod. The wire runs close to the building structure. Attach the grounding electrodes conductor to the second ground rod. Bonding wire attached. Cover the wire with soil. Top of bars flush or below ground level.
Make sure the power is off. Connect the wire connecting the ground rods to the ground terminal of the panel board. Using green tape, identify the wire as a ground wire if greater than 6 AWG is installed. Grounding electrodes, ground rods, bonded to service equipment. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.